views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. When you add be you plus live your purpose, what do you get? Joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that you're meant to use to make the world a brighter place. Have you ever wondered, is this all life has to offer? There must be more. If you answer yes, then Unstuck Joy is the show for you. Each show will feature a memoir artwork painted by Vicki that taps into universal themes of evolution, hope, inner strength, and self-growth. Vicki will also ask listeners to play along, draw, doodle, collage, write, and or paint your way to soul clarity with Art Vision Journaling. Unstuck Joy will compel you to tune into your soul's whispers to realize your unique dreams. Get ready to get unstuck. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Unstuck Joy, the art of living on purpose. I'm your host, Vicki Todd, and I'm so excited because Unstuck Joy is going to twice a month on the first and third Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific, which is 6 p.m. Eastern. And this is the place where we will give you tips and an art vision journal prompt to help you evolve ever closer to your true self and live Unstuck Joy. So I am doubly excited because I have my first guest today, Colette Marie Steffen, and she is the author of a book called The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens. And she also has a radio show of the same name, The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens, here on Transformation Talk Radio every Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific. And so, hey, Colette. Hi, I just want to say thank thank you. you. And what an an honor honor it is. is to be the first first guest guest on your show. show. (laughs) Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, before we get started in our discussion, um, like I said, we do an art vision journal prompt. And so I want to let people know if you wonder what is she doing during this discussion, I'm going to be creating the art vision prompt today, which is um, how is your butterfly dance evolving? And so if you guys out in the audience would like to do your own, if you would go to my website, which is vickyworldart.com, in the menu, there's an art visioning link. And underneath that is a link for art vision prompts. So I have a prompt for each episode of Unstuck Joy. So this one is How Is Your Butterfly Dance Evolving? And this prompt came from three different sources. And I didn't know this. Maybe Colette knew this. But before a butterfly becomes a butterfly, you know, it's the caterpillar. And a caterpillar is born with um, hidden discs in its body. And each disc has a part to allow the butterfly to become its adult self. And so the antenna, the body, the wings, the legs. And um, it's like us. You know, we're born with gifts that we're supposed to use to make the world a brighter place. But sometimes those gifts remain hidden. And so like me, you know, I was told, oh, art is a frivolous hobby. Do that till, you know, say that till after retirement. Don't major in that in college. Don't make that your job. You need to do something that's substantial, valuable, and makes money. And so sometimes because of family or society, the gifts that we have do get kind of pushed to the back burner. Now, when the um, but uh, the caterpillar gets into the cocoon, it totally turns to caterpillar soup <laughs> and just liquefies itself. And that's when the hidden discs come out and form the butterfly. And the butterfly doesn't pop out all at once. It has to struggle, you know, with its wings to finally break out of the cocoon. And so that's like us. When we go through a major life transition like divorce or, you know, knowing that we need to quit a stable job or to move, sometimes we feel like soup because we feel really broken down through these really harsh transitions. But that's when our gifts can come forward and give us the strength and the skills and the knowledge to move forward into the next level of our journey. Now, we all expect, you know, for this butterfly to come out with these beautiful colors and it's delicate, it's, you know, graceful and flits around. And I found a story in the book, Women Who Run With the Wolves, and it had a story called Butterfly Dance. And this group of people were waiting with anticipation for the butterfly dancer to come out. And they're expecting that it's going to be this beautiful, young kind of ballerina dancer in this beautiful costume and do this graceful dance. And they wait and wait and wait. 
and eventually the dancer who comes out is a middle-aged woman. She's very curvy. She has these little kid butterfly wings strapped to her back. And instead of gracefully dancing, she's like stomping in the dirt. And every time she stomps, you know, the dirt flies up around her feet. But she is owning that dance. And so that's like us when we make the decision sometimes to really emerge into our true self and use the gifts we were born with. Others' expectations, our family, society, our jobs, they think, what are you doing? You know, this isn't kind of the norm to fit in the box. But we have to just listen to our inside heart and just own the dance that we were born to live and to be joyful. And so that's why Colette is here to talk to us about an energetic upgrade and how we can tap into that dance that our heart desires. And so... Thank you, Colette, for being here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. I am so, um, I'm just loving this. And I wanted to say that I just love that you're calling it the butterfly dance. I've read that story also. Oh, and uh, I brought a new program out called Call to Dance, yes. which is um, that which calls you. <laughs> and so, yes. you know, um, what I love to do is I love to provide information to people and um, shift energy. So when I'm shifting energy, I call that an energetic upgrade. Um, energetic upgrade, if you think about um, yourself as being like a binary computer, uh, you're, you're, you have two choices when it's binary. You're either weak or you are strong to what you're saying, doing, the actions other people are taking around you. Um, this is whether your uh, energy is in alignment or out of alignment. So it's not about um, being good or bad or positive or negative. It's about how does your energy, um, it, your, your energy level drop when you go weak energetically. And, and then uh, when you are strong, what happens is you strengthen yourself. So, you know, I've been on this journey for 10 years. And I was, uh, my father was, uh, had Gillian Barre when he was uh, 68. Wow. He was um, paralyzed from head to toe within a 36 hour period. Wow. I wrote a short story in a book also called uh, Life Sparks, uh, Stories of Illumination, which you can find on Amazon and on my website. Um, I, I, and his story was like at 68 to be paralyzed and unable to even breathe on his own. And um, having to learn all of that again and going through a four-year process looking after him and, you know, like it was a very trying time for our family. Right. And then very shortly right after that, um, a few weeks after that, you know, or, uh, I think it was five or six weeks after my niece was uh, in a car accident and a drunk driver had hit her and her friends and, and her friend died at the scene and my niece was um, revived and went through this long process. They, the doctors put her back together. Um, I'm just excuse me for a minute because this little one has decided she's oh. going to join us. <laughs> what is her name? Stella. Hey, Stella. So <laughs> but cute. she's only going to stick around for as long as, a, as she wants because she's a cat. <laughs> yeah, of course. Can't tell but, her what to do. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah, so my niece went through all the surgery and everything, and then they informed us that she had se severe brain damage. And wow. at the time, she was 18, and this is my sister's only child, and she called a long-distance healer, and started, um, he started doing remote healing. Okay. And uh, she came back to us and she's now married and she has two children and she's modeling and, and she was in university three and a half weeks after. So that was my very first introduction to remote healing. And I wanted right. to know how people do that, if everybody can do that, or is it just some special gift that some of us have? Right. And that was my goal. And so that's kind of been my goal ever since. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I've, I've wanted to understand how it is possible that we can heal energetically. Okay. I, oh, wow. I didn't know that's, that turns you to soup, right? It's where you yeah. have to really pull on those gifts. Yeah. So was that the point where you discovered that, hey, I have a gift for, you know, teaching this energetic upgrade? Yeah, I went and I studied. Um, I've had many amazing mentors and I um, have been studying energy work and quantum physics um, through the uh, Nassim Haramine. He's a, a, um, um, was the sponsor of the uh, Resonance Project Foundation. 
um, or okay. the founder of it. And I learned how um, quantum physics, like the explanation for how it's possible that we're all connected because we're all made up of atoms. Right. And uh, I, I, I studied with several mentors. I'm a UN Method Mastery practitioner. I have my, my teacher's certificate in um, psychosomatic therapy, which is the study of um, what emotions do to the body okay. and how they affect us. And, you know, I've just been on this journey and it's been so fascinating. I've had in the beginning, I had so many amazing results and I was like kind of confused in some ways as to how I was getting the results. So I always tell people when uh, it comes to energy work, you know, let go of the story and mm -hmm. go with what comes from um, the heart. And then you use your central nervous system as your um, as the way that you shift energy, basically. Right. Right. So that would be like the hard drive of your computer. And you do it very quickly just by running energy up and down your spine. And it's like pressing delete on the computer. So you can delete a file or a folder or um, even um, uninstall. <laughs> uninstall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like uninstall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, I've been doing, you have um, what you call your manual or adult coloring books. And we'll yeah. get into this here in a minute. But one thing that, um, with what you're saying, to be able to have this energetic upgrade and allow that to happen, you talk throughout about going neutral. And mm -hmm. um, the hard thing that whatever we're resisting comes for us. And so can you talk about how we can finally let go and go neutral? And yeah. why? Why does that happen? Sorry to interrupt. Oh. We have one minute left till break. Okay, okay well, then we could leave that out until after the break. If you would like, what I'll do is okay. I'll show you my book because I didn't send you it. And so this is okay. my um, Truth is Funny book. Yes. And um, I wrote it. It, it. It's a long book. It's right. meant to be used just by opening it. Okay. And whatever you open it to, that would answer your question. So, and it's actually very accurate. <laughs> and okay, I'm getting cool. a lot of people with a lot of good results from it. So um, that's Wonderful. available at Amazon and also at Lulu Publishing and also off my website. <laughs> okay. And give us the name one more time. Uh, the truth is funny dot com. Okay. Well, we are going to go to break. You're listening to Unstuck Joy. I'm Vicki Todd with my guest, Colette Marie Steffen, and we will be right back and talk more about how to get neutral and do this energetic <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> Miss any shows during the week? No! Don't worry, we've got you covered. Yahoo! With the free Transformation Talk radio app, you'll have access to all of the past week's shows in the palm of your hand. Yes! Tune in to Transformation Talk Radio anywhere you go with our free app for any of your devices. Check out our app in the App Store and Google Play Store today. Known for his keen sense of humor, contagious smile, and extensive esoteric wisdom, EJ translates deep spiritual wisdom into practical advice to empower you to live your happiest, most fulfilled experience. Mystic Living Radio, deep spiritual wisdom, practical advice with EJ, Eliyahu Jian. This hit show delivers profound experiences for all who want to live life to their deepest desires. Tune in monthly for Mystic Living Radio. Learn more by visiting vitaltransformation.org. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Do you want to heal your body and mind? 
Your body has a lot to tell you if you just learn to listen to your intuition. Audrey Michelle, host of Rewired Life Radio, can help you peel away the layers that are holding you back from living your best life. Tune in to Rewired Life Radio. Learn to love, heal, celebrate on Transformation Talk Radio every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Connect with Audrey at AudreyMichelle.com. Be you plus live your purpose equals joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that are meant to make the world brighter. Each show will feature an art visioning journal prompt to help you create your way to soul clarity. If you're ready to get unstuck and create more joy, this show is for you. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit VickiWorldArt.com. Okay, welcome back, everybody. This is Unstuck Joy, the art of living on purpose. I am your host, Vicki Todd, and we are here with our guest, Colette Marie Steffen, talking about an energetic upgrade. And so if you would like to call in and ask Colette questions, we have our 1-800 number, which is 1-800-930-2819. We are also on Facebook Live on the Transformation Talk Radio, or Transformation Talk Radio Facebook page. And so um, we're, we're rolling the program live um, as we do it via Facebook Live, which is really cool. Okay. okay, so we left off talking about how to get neutral because when we resist something, even though we feel like we're pushing it away, it's really pulling what we're resisting toward us, right? Anytime so, you fight something, like when people fight for a cause or they fight right. against a cause, the cause doesn't care. The cause just takes the energy. Right, because so it's your you're prominent for thought. something or you're fighting um, against something, you're still feeding the cause. So what yes. you want to do when you get neutral is it allows you to make good choices because you get absolutely strong to the absolute worst thing that could happen okay. and then strong to the absolute best thing that could happen. And I teach this in my call to dance seminars because right. uh, it's, it's, it's a simple process of running the energy up and down the spine and connecting with your heart. And, okay. um, um, and, it, and it has to happen very quickly because... When people are often very shocked at how much power there is behind these energetic shifts and how quickly um, that things can change. The thing is, and I have a card about this, this is Perception, one of okay. my cards from Tales from the Vector deck. Yes. And that, that is kind of like the card about Perception, like a cat, P-U-R-R-Ception. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are, you, okay. Uh, are you able to perceive things changed and different or are you going to hang on to the old story okay and what i'm seeing with that card Mm -hmm. and everybody um colette has a website that is talesfromthevector.com and it's like shake your tail feather (laughs) t-a-i-l-s right okay and so she has these gorgeous dragon cards that are uh, energy correcting cards, right? And so if you see behind her the huge paintings, that's what your cards start out as, right? Yeah, like that's kind of, I can't really get a really good there, but this is one I'm working on now. And she is, you know, she's quite a big painting, so it's hard to grab her here, but she is called Harmony and she was, is the throat chakra dragon. And she's about singing to your heart's content. (laughs) That's awesome. And so the one that you just showed us is perception, right? Perception. And so it looks like when you go to the eye doctor, the thing that you look through to be more clear. So, um. One of the things that I did to gain clarity um, uh, around um, all this work was I uh, went to Peru and did ayahuasca ceremony. Okay. And this is one of the, um, this card was one of the the visions I had in ceremony. And it's kind of, and the madre, she has a spirit, like this plant actually has a spirit. And she told me, you know, um, would you like this or would you like that? And this was really great. And that wasn't so great. And I was like. Oh, let me, could you just show me again, just because I don't know, (laughs) like you're in the state, right? And she's like, it's like when you were at the optometrist and they say this lens or this one, this one or this one. Right, But I'd say to her, oh, could you just show me again? She'd say, no. And she just leave me to suffer some more in this. (laughs) Oh my goodness. (laughs) And then until you come to the point where you're ready to let it go, 
then, uh, and that's what this reminded me of. On one side, you'll see is a very cold, hard, um, logical reality. And on the other side is all these beautiful, bright colors and being able to see everything clearly and, you know, seeing things in all sorts of um, different ways. Yeah. Right. And you just mentioned that when we get neutral, we have to tap into our, our heart center. And that's what I'm doing because um, I discovered this in your adult coloring book, Call to Dance, which... Um, I just want everybody to know, I was expecting like a coloring book, you know, mm -hmm. so every page would have a huge picture and that would be all. No, there's so much information in here, plus some little, you know, things to color. And so everything we're talking about is in your book, uh, The Truth is Funny Shift Happens, that you said, you know, just choose intuitively. And that's kind of what I've been doing with this, with I this love coloring it. book as well. Uh, so, well, yeah, but talk about. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, first of all, talk about the three heart centers, because it's not just that we say, OK, I'm going to get neutral and just calm myself down. But you're saying to make it work, we really have to tap into three different hearts. Mm -hmm. So talk about that. Well, you've got your, you know, the shot, your heart chakra and you've got your physical heart. Now, your physical heart is most people think of as a pump. And right. that's, you know, but you can feel your heartbeat. And if you are really feeling like an anxiety come over you or whatever, and you run the energy up and down your central nervous system and you just feel your heartbeat, a lot of times that will calm people down. If you notice, no matter how stressed out you are when you're um, in any given situation, your heart just keeps beating <laughs> or you're not going to be alive much longer. Right. <laughs> so or it's not else. something that we think about you know, every second of every minute of, of every day that we have to think about our heart beating. So our physical heart is very strong. And then, you know, you also have the heart chakra, which is, I think of those as like antenna spirals of energy that, you know, that come through your heart. Right. And there's um, a universal heart, like so that it's, it's kind of like the chakra embraces everything out there in the entire universe. Right. And then, you know, so th those are the, the three hearts like you were um, that you're referring to. Yes. yes. The so physical, our chakra. physical yeah. chakra and the universal, because right. you said in the book that unless we tap into those um, heart centers, we may be more neutral and more calm, but we're not really getting to the crux of the matter of what really makes our heart sing. Right. And I yeah. have for the years, I've been able to shift people energetically and recognize that they might say like, and that's, you know, in my private sessions, I quite often will do this. They're like, I want to um, land this certain position or I want to sell my house or I want to do this or that. And we'll, right. we'll look at the energetic blocks. And as someone speaks to me, I can feel in my own body, I can feel my energy drop or, and the other person's energy drop or go strong, weak or strong, weak or strong. And there's no judgment in that. This is not saying that the person is a weak person or anything like that. What it means is there's a, a feeling, a drop in energy that you can feel. And that, that drop means you're weak to what you're about to do, what someone just said to you. You know, this comes in really handy if you have teenagers. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. You know, so, can you listen to anyone talk. You can watch anything on TV, on the news, whatever, and you can actually test if what they're saying is actually true. If right. What, if they're strong to what they're saying. Yeah. Did you call it the HSN, which is not Home Shopping Network? It's your <laughs> your higher self network, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think of it kind of like MSN chat, you know, okay. where you, you're ch always chatting with people. Right. And so as you're chatting with people um, in the higher self network, you're doing the same thing. Only when you're on MSN, you're only doing it when you're on MSN. But people are picking up information on the higher self network every single second of every minute of every day. And as soon as one of us has a thought, that thought becomes... The property of the entire multiverse. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so and so it's those. Okay, thank you. It's the kind of that gut reaction that a lot of times we may ignore, but really you should be tapping into those feelings that you get throughout your body. Um, what I like to explain to people is feeling when it comes to energetic work is an on and off switch. 
So it's actually a lot of times when people talk about emotions like sad or happy or mad or whatever, that is actually a reaction that they're having to things that have happened in the past or that they have perceived to be that way. And and that uh, they attach an emotion to it. But what I'm talking about is feeling for and energetically for a weakness. That's it. And I teach this in the first mm, hour or so of my seminars so that when people start working together at the seminars, they're automatically addressing the issues that come up and surprising how ever, all of us have this ability, every single one of us. Wow. Well, tell everybody, because you have so much cool stuff, how can they contact you to really dig into your offerings? You can go to, as I said, www.thetruthisfunny.com and then tales, T-A-I-L-S, from the vector.com. I have paintings, reproductions of my paintings, and also um, the uh, energy correcting cards that are imprinted with this energy. So the cards work by giving you that, um, uh, they're imprinted. So a lot of what I talk about in the book and in the manual there, as soon as you just hold this card, you're going to start feeling some of that. Right. That yeah. is so cool. Well, um, I have such a cool story because I had so many aha moments from, you know, doing the coloring book. But there's one particular story that I'm not kidding you. It stopped in my tracks and brought tears to my eyes. And so I would like to share that with everybody when we return, if that's okay with you. Oh, I love to hear that. This is my, okay. my new baby. <laughs> yes. And it's about your anticipation card. And so oh, we'll talk right. about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we have one minute left. And so... Um, what, what what do we want to say? You have some events coming up that are your call to call to dance events in September, which, oh, my God, this is already August. And so those are uh-huh. coming up quick. Yeah, so how can is, people know? Um, people, you can go um, in. You can go to my site. Um, Truth is funny. And the I give a free demo. I pull people out of the audience and I show them how I do it right then and there and get some amazing shifts. That's how I have most of my clients from around the world. Because they'll come to a, a free demo and their life changes. And, uh, and I have that on September 22nd and another one on September 29th in Kelowna, British Columbia, home of Ogopogo the Dragon. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. We call Ogopogo. it God's country here because it's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. Come visit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you are watching Unstuck Joy. I'm Vicki Todd, your host. We're with Colette Marie Steffen, and we will come right back and talk about my experience with your Call to Dance manual. The goal for the Art of Powerful Living Radio is to inspire every human to live lives that are rich, fulfilling, on purpose, and fun. This hit show with Robert Schoenfeld is a fresh approach to boldly living our lives with creativity, courage, patience, wisdom, love, and power. Join Robert every month with Dr. Pat Basili for the Art of Powerful Living Radio. Awareness is universal. Establishing a living awareness through meditation brings peaceful, healthy, and creative well-being into your everyday life. The practice of living awareness, Spirit Fire's own meditation practice, is built on this belief and is designed for every level of practitioner. Each year, Spirit Fire hosts living awareness meditation retreats that allow you to explore the practice in depth at our retreat center in beautiful western Massachusetts. Introduce yourself to meditation and the practice at the Foundations Retreat. Attend, in silence, a silent meditation retreat focused on mindfulness, presence, and nature. Or be engaged with the meditation sittings themselves at the Deepening Retreat. Start adding to your awareness and attend a meditation retreat designed to cultivate consciousness in your everyday life. For details on attending a Living Awareness Meditation Retreat, visit upcoming events at www.spiritfire.com. Tune in to the hit show, Mouthing Off with Chef Rossi. Chef Rossi mouths off about different subjects in pursuit of breaking down walls and opening up your minds. She and Dr. Pat banter back and forth, taking from the headlines of the day on subjects that reach beyond what goes on in the world 
into your hearts. And go to theragingskillet.com to find out more and let Chef Rossi know what's on your mind. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the drpatshow.com. Are you struggling in a relationship and deeply craving some tools and support to get things back on track? Do you crave having a loving, compassionate relationship with Mr. Right, but always seem to pick Mr. Wrong? Well, Sarah Luce can help. She's created a four-week online course starting September 28th that will teach you how to shift your energy and behavior to have new transformative outcomes. And you're going to get a personal one-on-one session with Sarah to ensure you get powerful, personal results. Sign up today at sarahluce.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. This is Unstuck Joy, the art of living on purpose. I'm your host, Vicki Todd, and we are talking to Colette Marie Steffen. Okay. We have so much to talk about. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I think what uh, I was wanting to talk about, this is one of your adult coloring books because there's a series of these, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. I I just, I, I had a thought of doing this for 10 years. Okay. And the reason why is because when I was studying anatomy, they had these coloring books and you could learn how to color and mm-hmm. like, or learn how to um, remember the anatomy because as you color it, it sort of sinks in. And I thought, hey, this is what I'm going to do for Yeah. Any- yeah. Oh, and, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, that's why I love these art vision journal prompts. You know, the reason I call it art visioning is because it's not just art journaling. I have a list of questions to ask the universe, like, how can I see this differently? What do I need to shed? What do I need to allow? You know, how can I use my gifts? And it was incredible, the download that you get that it shows up on the page. And like Saturday, I had a workshop at Spa Air, and we were doing the butterfly dance. And mine turned out kind of dark but it relates to this story that I have with your anticipation card and it took me till that evening to figure out oh that's what the message is and so the (laughs) art part of it somehow you know along with the universal questions it it gets really deep so um do you have your anticipation card yes I do here I pulled it out for you because this is anticipation Yes, and so this is one of collect uh, tales from the vector yeah and when they and when they appear to me they tell me where they're from Okay. And she's from Italy, and um, you, the the dragon is the black Escila, and yeah. um, this is Morgana, her her angel. All the baby dragons have an angel that uh, that they're assigned an angel because there's so much work, <laughs> and this is wow. um, the angel that has been hanging out with this dragon, and this is about being caught between a rock and a hard place. It's, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I would love to hear your story. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we we did a practice call last week and uh, we said, oh, well, you know, go to the tales from the vector dot com and pick out the cards that I was really attracted to. And so I picked out four and it was just total visual thing. But I think I emailed you. I said, oh, I love the you know, anticipation because it gave me kind of a woo, you know, in my my solar plexus um, chakra there. And so I didn't know that it was in the coloring book. And I was flipping through the other day. and I was like, oh, that's the anticipation card. And so I started reading it. And the part that really got me, you know, it talks about it has the girl. You can see that I've colored. Oh, yeah, um, move it over just a little. We couldn't see her there. Now we can yeah, see her. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so she's swinging from feet to the fire to absolute, you know, puffy clouds and sunshine. And so the idea is, at least to me, that – something popped in, downloaded to me from the universe a couple of weeks ago. And I was so resisting it. And I was really kind of mad at the universe. I was kind of pissed off, which is not helping at all. But I think it's because I've had all of these dreams, you know, for the past two years, you know, quitting my professor position a couple of years ago. And right now, 
a lot of stuff is manifesting. And I'm working on my second book. I'm almost done. I'm going to Frankfurt, Germany to the book fair in October to promote my first book. The show's going live and I have actual live guests. And so, you know, I'm doing a lot of workshops now. And it downloaded to me because, you know, with my art, it's uh, memoir portraits. And I thought, oh, well, maybe I could write little monologues. And when I do public speaking, I could show a portrait because it tells, you know, part of my story. And I could just kind of go into character for that little bit during public speaking. Well, the download was forget the public speaking, just do like a one woman play. I love and that. <laughs> I, well, I wasn't loving it. And so I, I do a bubble bath every night, you know, to relax and read. And I mean, Colette, I got a crystal clear image of me on stage with my canvas sitting there and start painting and just start talking. And the reason I was pissed off, I thought, but all this other stuff is going on. How can I fit this in? And I was upset for like two weeks. But then when I read this, it says, the more you shine your light, the darker your shadow. And it just stopped me in my tracks. And I started crying because I thought, that's where I am. I'm getting so many rushes right now. Like, And this is um, an experience that a lot of people have when they're shifting energy. And you're, you, that download that you got from my manual, I love it because this is confirmation for me. A lot of people have told me that with my book. I have people that have serious disease have been told that they are, um, you know, they don't have long to live and they've used this book to feel better and they're still alive. You know, years yeah. I have many clients like this and I want to make it really clear that the, the, um, I, my job is to track energetically what is going weak or what is going you know for this person mm -hmm. and then energetically shift it on on their midline so that they can let that go and move forward and so what I'm getting when you said it, I'm just getting so many rushes because really what's coming up is you just have to be and that's what yeah. because the, the twin card that goes along with that card because it's actually twins and uh, I'm just looking for it right here's the other one Okay. This, uh, this is um, the twin. So the, the expectations actually, yeah, expectations and okay. anticipation. Okay. So if we have expectations of how yeah. something is supposed to present, we will have like it in our head, and that comes from our logical mind usually, and that's the, uh, you know, that's when we're saying, oh, what. The F happened. Right. <laughs> yeah. What is this? External forces. Yes. Um, something coming in and then all of a sudden we're feeling it and we're wondering what happened. I was so happy or whatever. When we have expectations of how we're supposed to do our work, how everything is supposed to go, you know, the plan is set, da, 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 like that. What happens is we don't leave room to make it easier. <laughs> Yeah. And that's where anticipation comes in because that calms that what if this happened? What if that happened? What if, um, you know, what if I do this and it doesn't work? What if I get out on the stage and people throw rotten tomatoes at me? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, and how you, so anytime we have expectations, it will create limitations because it's challenging when we're in this human body to recognize that we are multifaceted beings and we have a body and a soul and a spirit and we, and that's a, a complete package. And we want to have a lot right. of balance in those three things so that we can manifest what we want. And the universe would love to get, like we might say, Oh, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars this year in my new business. And the universe is going a hundred. Okay. I was going to give you a million, but right. you know, if you only want a hundred thousand. Well, then I guess that's what you're going to get. And so basically, we have all have these expectations from our subconscious mind when we were being raised, how we're supposed to behave, what we should do, what we could do. Yes. And we want to let go of those and allow ourselves and allow the universe to give us way more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I think that was part of it because I did get neutral and I tapped into, you know, my heart center. And of course, my God, that would be the best thing ever to be able to do that because I've done community theater before and I always want to throw up before I go on stage but then <laughs> during it and then after it it's like this was such a rush and so I can see it but once I kind of calmed down and went neutral and really tapped into my heart then the first right step 
popped into my head. And it was just, I don't have to know the whole thing, but just the first right step. And two of the workshops that I've been waiting to hear from, I got emails pretty much immediately because I relaxed and it's like, boop, boop. And things just kind of started rolling. And that's another thing that you say in here is that once we get to that neutral place, it will click in and we don't have to make it click in. I had yes. a client one time, I was just out giving us a, a speaking engagement out at Naramata, BC here. And um, it was at Spring Festival of Awareness. And there was a woman there and she came up for the demo and she wanted me to work on her father, who was um, diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. Mm-hmm. And he was, you know, like not doing well. He was in, re- in hospice and he was expected to die any day. And we worked on it a little bit. And it's just like following the conversation. And I corrected him at that time not to care if he had cancer. Wow. (laughs) You know, and honestly, what happened is I saw this woman one year later when I was back at this, because I went out there every year for seven years. And I saw her a year later and I said, oh, whatever happened with your dad? And she goes, oh, he's home now. (laughs) She said he was in the, you know, in hospice for, um, you know, six months and they, he just wouldn't die. So, <laughs> and yeah. they would ask him, dad, no, you have to go for this test or that. And, and, and he'd say, why? And they'd say, well, right. dad, because you have cancer. And he'd say, I do. I feel so good. <laughs> wow. And then, and so sometimes when you energetically shift people with a, with a health issue, it'll show up in x-rays, etc., that it's gone. Right. And then sometimes it'll just show up, it's still there, but the person doesn't have any of the symptoms of it. And so right. that is kind of the magic and the beauty of not having expectations. Because I might have an expectation that that person is just going to feel a little bit better. Right. You see? And, and a little bit expectation, is a good step in the right direction, yeah. Yeah, and I anticipate the best possible scenario. Because when you're neutral, you can, you can in that moment where you have that 100% clarity, of letting it all go, the universe will like, and I'll hear like, uh, uh, I used to hear dominoes, tick, 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 because sometimes you're removing thousands of weaknesses. And then now I'll hear cards shuffling. And so there can be thousands of energetic shifts in any given moment. And I have seen people like children with autism that recover very quickly, you know, also like um, people, um, we just had someone who was on a radio show on the truth is funny and she wanted mm-hmm. to sell her house and um, she, she hadn't had an offer in, you know, four months and she, no one had even come look at it and she sold it a couple weeks after. And then she sent me an email and said, and it was with ease. There was no conditions applied. She didn't have to get everything out of the house. The guy wanted to keep whatever she didn't want to move. Yeah. And then she's like, oh my goodness, now I got to find a condo. And yeah. um, please strengthen me to that. And, and three days later, she said, I found the condo. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we, we've got to go to break really quick, but we'll, we'll pick up that. So we make it too hard. We make yeah. it way too hard. Right, okay. we have expectations. Yeah. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so we will be right back. This is Unstuck Joy, and we'll talk more after the break. <laughs> Curious about the meaning of life? Do you want to deepen your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. The school also organizes group meditations each year to benefit humanity. Whether you're just beginning to reflect on the spiritual side of your life or are a more experienced spiritual seeker, the school warmly welcomes you to join our group. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit esotericstudies.net. That's esotericstudies.net. Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, The Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio. 
featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hit call-in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net. Tune in each Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. Did you know any negative thought you have drains your energy by 30%? 30%. I don't know about you, but if left to my own devices, my mind can come up with some wildly unsupportive ideas. A rabbit hole of negativity. Yuck. My life is busy and I bet yours is too. Losing 30% of my energy doesn't work for me. I need all the help I can get. My name is Audrey Michelle, and I'm the host of Rewired Life Radio, as well as a spiritual growth coach. I want you to be operating on all available energy throughout your day so you can show up as your best self. Don't you? Get my three quick energy shifts for regaining lost energy. Simply go to AudreyMichelle.com slash tips and download it for free today. That's Audrey Michelle, spelled M-I-C-H-E-L dot com slash tips. Are you stuck in unhealthy habits, toxic relationships, and low self-esteem? Do you crave a life of inspiration, love, self-acceptance, and fun? Sounds like you're on the verge, on the verge to your next big thing. Join Laura Richer, host of On The Verge Radio, helping you use your breakdown for a breakthrough, overcome life's greatest challenges, and live the life you want and deserve. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio or visit seattlehealinghypnosis.com for more information. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Unstuck Joy, the art of living on purpose. I'm your host, Vicki Todd, and we are with Colette Marie Steffen, and we are talking about that we make it so much harder than it has to be with all of our expectations. And oh, one thing I wanted to say with the, um, you know, being freaked out to do the stage play, I was always told as a child, don't keep a diary because people will read it and they'll know what you're thinking. <laughs> and so, you know, to do my visual memoir and really talk about my life experience, I think that's still those childhood expectations that, oh no, you're not supposed to tell people what happened. Well, what, what happens is the time we're raised, from the time we're born to the time we're raised, our subconscious mind is formed. And that is the mind that we use 95% of the time. And it doesn't even belong to us. It belongs yeah. to our parents and our culture and everybody else. And so what I've discovered for myself, like I was very, I was bullied as a child in school and I was scared and I never ever thought I would have a radio show or be doing public speaking and you know I, I've had seminars in Egypt and Spain and Europe and you know so I've really been living like a really interesting time for like I guess the past decade and I was so afraid to speak in public that um, I had to figure out how am I going to do it <laughs> right. and so I took up belly dancing because I figured if I could belly dance on stage then I would be able to talk on stage and I found, though, that as I um, went on my journey, I realized that the words would just flow because what happens is when you really are coming from your heart and all of the like, I would just say, you know, uh, I was raised um, uh, um, Roman Catholic, gave that religion stuff up, but I have a beautiful connection with Christ. And um, that connection is... Um, what if I, I'd say, well, if I don't know what to say, then you'll know what to do. <laughs> right. Exactly. And I found that because um, I've taught this to thousands of people. Um, when, when people come to my seminars, I do have the manual like, like you showed. Mm -hmm. But that is, um, we're not going to sit there and go through the manual at the seminar. What we do is okay. it's very interactive. And every, I keep it to 24 people right now because I want to address the issues that the people come there with. And it's a beautiful thing to witness as people get that aha moment and they're like, yeah. oh, my God, I feel better. I actually feel better. This works. And right. they start you know, putting it into practice, these skills that I talk about. And we address these things. And so that's why I, I've kept the seminars a little bit smaller for this, because it's um, people then can feel safe to share some, like you said, some very intimate details that, you know, and we have, um, uh, when you come to one of my seminars, we have, a, we only have one rule, 
and the rule is Vegas rules apply. <laughs> okay, so what happens there stays there. Stays there. And yeah. I mean, that doesn't mean you can't talk about what happened, but not using people's personal names, right. et cetera, information without their permission, because I like to create a very safe space. And a lot of times people will come to my seminars and they've done a lot of energy. I tend to attract people that are well in their journey and also, you know, like really new beginners. And I have never met anyone that is unable to um, do this. Everybody can do it. I just awesome. help people to remember that they can. <laughs> right. And they're called Call to Dance seminars. Yes. Yeah. And you have a couple coming up next month in September. Yeah, so remind September us. September 22nd on Friday night is the demo. And at, at the demo ends around 9, th 9 o'clock. And then we go dancing. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so... Uh, there's some uh, a, a local pub here that does plays live music, and um, I take everybody dancing that night if they want to go. It's not a, a requirement, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And we just go out in the dance, and so many people say, "Oh, it's been so long since I just danced," and yeah. so we sort of started off like that. But it, it's not about it. it's about the call to dance. I feel like life is like um, like a dance. <laughs> And there's times where you're going to stumble a little bit and there's times where you're going to look absolutely amazing out there. And the first time that I, like I ever danced on stage, I was belly dancing and I was so scared that, and people were saying, oh, you had such an awesome shimmy. And I was like, oh, that was just my knees knocking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, but how can people register to go and participate? You can go to my site. Um, the, the 22nd, 23rd and 24th is layer one. And I call it layer one because we're tossing veils, like in the seven yeah. veil dance. And uh, the following weekend, I have the layer two. Okay. And, um, and that is like um, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and Friday night is the demo that you can bring anyone. Everyone's allowed to come to my demo. And I just uh, usually give people a chance to put a, their name in a hat. And I randomly pick people out of the audience and we work on the issues that that person has very quickly in about 10 minutes, they shift. And I've had if I, uh, some amazing <laughs> results yeah. at those demos. Wow. It, it, it's just mind blowing what happens because when people get into a space like this, where everybody is like open and they're opening their hearts and they're allowing this in, the things that we energetically shift, pain in the body, um, health, fitness, how to stay youthful, um, you know, career, and many, many people that have come to my demos or seminars end up being like, they just have, like, they find out one lady realized that she can paint and she's wow. selling painting. She never painted a picture in her life. And then she started painting after and wow. Yeah. yeah. And so that is your website. The truth is funny. Dot com, com that they and can go there right see, okay uh, the the cards in greater detail like with the paintings and order all that you can go to either or but tales from the vector dot com yeah and I also, T A I L S from yeah. the vector and yeah. I should just be mention also that I do tele shifting seminars I call them float your boat for okay. those people who want to um, attack this once a month and and like it's an hour and a half call and they send in one issue and I go through it and I take the group synergy and we talk about what's going on and correct the energy and I love it because you can buy those for just $39.99 yeah. and um, individually or you can you know purchase the whole year and get 12 months for 10 but yeah. it's a great way to like sit in and wreck and feel what happens like how you yeah. felt that you know, when you cry like that? Yes. Yeah, that's a part of you letting go. Yeah, that and you... that was just for me doing the book on my couch yeah. by myself. So I'm sure in either the teleseminar <laughs> or the in-person, it's so powerful. Well, we're about to run out of time, so let me show everybody what I've done here. And so this is um, How Is Your Butterfly Dance Evolving? And so you go to my website, vickyworldart.com, under the art visioning and then art vision prompts. You can click on this one. And I did the three heart centers that um, Colette talked about, you know, the physical heart, chakra heart, and then the universal heart that we need to tap into to be able to really let go and tap into what is our calling? What is our dance? Half is a butterfly. But to honor Colette, I did half of a <laughs> dragonfly because you do the dragon cards. It tells from the vector, but then you also have some dragonfly cards as well. Yes. 
And so I have on here, Are You Called to Dance? And I just found um, this lovely photograph of Frida Kahlo, you know, the Mexican um, surrealist painter, because I love her. And she went through such a transformation herself and really just did her thing. And when she had the body cast on after, you know, the accident when it broke her back, she would do a lot of butterflies on her cast. And so I love having her as part of it. Well, She's a hero. <laughs> yes, she is. Well, tell us one last thought that you would like people to know of how they can upgrade their energy. B, um, people all, um, often, often phone me, call into the radio show, et cetera, uh, get emails like, what is my life purpose? How do I know? Your life purpose is to be the best version of yourself. Oh, that's beautiful. And that will allow you to be this beautiful butterfly and dance your dance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And well, maybe one more. Be a little uh, dragonflyish too. <laughs> that's right. Because the dragonfly, it can go many directions and it's like, look through the illusion. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Colette. Thank you so much. And it's, the truth is funny. Dot com is the best way for people to reach you, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, your energy is so beautiful. So I'm sure with, with especially in-person events, it is just amazing. I to be love able to. seeing the in-person events. They're so much fun. <laughs> yeah. So sign up for them because you've got two coming in September. So yes. thank you, everyone. And do your own um, Art Vision Journal page and use that energy and be and do the dance that your heart is asking you to do. Let it sing. So this is Unstuck Joy. I'm your host, Vicki Todd, and we will see you next time on September the 5th at 3 p.m. Pacific. And I will have my guest, um, Catherine Liggett, and we're going to talk about uh, intuition, psychic intuition. So thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> You've been listening to Unstuck Joy, the art of living on purpose with Vicki Todd. This hit show is where your higher purpose is revealed and cultivated. Now you too can share your unique light and special gifts with the world. Vicki's dedication to raising your life's purpose to something extraordinary is unending. So don't miss out on your opportunity. Catch Unstuck Joy monthly with Vicki Todd and Dr. Pat Basili. For more information about Vicki and her work, go to VickiWorldArt.com. That's V-I-C-K-I WorldArt.com.